Hello and welcome to today's Thought for the Day. My name's Laura and I'm the curate here in Portishead with the Church of England. Now today we're going to be thinking a little bit about the lectionary reading which is found uh, in the Church of England's daily prayer. Um, the church likes to set out set readings for every day and the idea being that by the end of three years we would have read the whole canon of scripture. And today the New Testament reading focuses on Matthew chapter 10 verses 34 to Matthew chapter 11 verse 1. We're going to be engaging with this particular passage using our imaginations. And so there's going to be moments of stillness and silence, moments where music will be played to help us engage creatively with this text. Feel free to do this in the quiet and the comfort of your home. Or again, if you want to go and get some art materials or something creative so that you can express yourself whilst you're listening, please feel free to do that too. Or you might just want to close your eyes and get yourselves into a comfortable position. This is adapted from an Ignatian way of engaging with scripture where we're able to place ourselves into the story itself and encounter Jesus as we do so. So let's take a moment if you need to go and uh, get some things to help you feel comfortable um, or just to still yourself, just to recognise what's going on around you and what's going on in your body. As we move into a time of encountering God this morning. Imagine for a moment you're one of the 12 disciples gathered around Jesus. You've just seen a man unable to walk, stand and walk. Not only that, you saw him forgiven. You saw the blind see and the mute speak. A woman healed and a girl rise from the dead. And now Jesus is telling you to do the same. He tells you there just aren't enough people willing to put themselves out there to do this. So it gives you the authority to drive out impure spirits and heal every sickness and disease. But then Jesus tells you, don't take anything. Where there's desire to welcome peace, share peace. And where there is not, leave. Oh, and as you do this, you'll be like sheep among wolves. But don't be afraid as divisions begin and people start to react to what's being said and done. You will be given the words to speak and say. You begin to focus your heart and mind on what Jesus is saying. And you look around you. Where is this taking place? Who else is around you? What are the sights, sounds and smells as you look upon Jesus? Jesus continues. Do not suppose I have come to bring peace to the earth. 
I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. And whoever finds their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. You stand there, listening. How does it feel hearing this? What are you thinking? As you stand there, you replay the words of Jesus over in your mind once more. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I've come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever becomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. So how does it feel hearing these words again? What are you thinking? Jesus finishes talking and you pull him to one side. What do you say to him? What questions, thoughts and feelings do you want to share? Spend some time sharing these with him now.
Does Jesus say anything in return? Perhaps he gives you a look. Let's spend a moment listening to his reply. Let's take a moment now to thank God for being present to us through this scripture today. Perhaps you might want to tell God one thing you might do as a result of this interaction with him. Let's hold with gratitude this moment. hope you enjoyed that different way of engaging with the scriptures. You might just want to become aware of your surroundings now as we uh, leave that particular space. But if you'd like to discuss um, that particular experience or the Bible passage further, then uh, we would love to see you at our uh, Zoom catch up uh, midweek coffee morning at 10.30 on Thursdays and the details of how to connect with that and the Zoom links can be found in the notice sheet and online. Until we see each other again, take care and God bless.